Welcome to Defender's Voice. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Please send us your questions to info at drpaul.org. Thank you for all the questions and I am coming one by one. Okay, so please have some patience. Visit my website www.drpaul.org for my latest videos and uh, blog articles. Today's question is Michael Ramsden says I completely trusted various deceptive narratives and accounts and I was wrong. Is this a good response? Excellent question. Michael Ramsden, the president of RZIM, he said that he completely trusted various deceptive narratives and accounts given by Ravi. Now he realizes that he too was deceived by Ravi Zacharias. So he implies that he is also a victim of Ravi Zacharias. He did not give us any reasons for keeping quiet when Ravi was alive. In psychology, we call this acquiescence bias. You accept the content because it came from an authoritative acquaintance, not because you critically examined the contents of a response. That is a serious logical mistake, particularly if you label yourself a Christian apologist. That shows you are not following the Holy Spirit of God. You are following your own wallet or popularity or friendship with your boss. That disqualifies Michael from leading a Christian organization, especially after such a massive debacle. He should resign or at least take a break. He also did not follow the Bible in matters of discipline. Every believer should be affiliated with a local church. He or she should be accountable to the local body of Christians. No believer is too spiritual to give himself or herself an exception to this role. This is especially true for Christian leaders and preachers. If someone makes an accusation against a preacher, that local church he attends should look into the matter. They should investigate the matter. And if they are convinced that sin was committed, they should discipline the preacher. This did not happen with Ravi Zacharias. He was ordained by Christian Missionary Alliance denomination. As Ravi became popular and successful, he distanced himself from the CMA group. There was no spiritual overseers on his life. That's a big mistake. Now, yes, CMA looked into Ravi's sexting case with Lorian Thompson and declared him to be innocent. But it was a one-time event. Ravi was not attending a CMA church regularly. There was no continuous accountability to a local church in his life. Michael Ramsden was not bothered by this lack of spiritual discipline in the life of his boss. When you lead a Christian ministry, you should follow what the Bible prescribes as a disciplinary method when a Christian sins. When a Christian sins, you should listen to his accusers. In this case, when Ravi sinned, uh, you did not do that because you were carrying favor with Ravi. You followed Ravi, not the Lord Jesus Christ. You did not open your mouth when Ravi was alive. You refused to listen to any of his accusers. Ravi's family was not treated fairly. Ravi's wife, Marji, did so much for RZIM since its inception. Ravi was uh, not home. She raised their children. If you read her letter, she would not believe any accusations made against her husband. Her testimony should be taken into consideration. She also wanted to live in, those, in that home. She was given a 90-day notice and uh, got evicted from her home. That is cruel. She is a widow who needs our support. She was forced from her job and evicted from her home. Ravi made Michael Ramsden to be the president of RGIM because he trusted him as a friend. Now this is what 
Michael did to Ravi's widow. Now, if you watched my videos, I condemned Ravi's sins, but I also supported his family members. But all these close friends of Ravi, like Michael, Stuart McAllister, Abdul Mora, Vince Vitale, did not extend any public support to Ravi's family members. Naomi Zacharias did so much a philanthropic service to the poor people and abused women through her Wellspring organization. In India, we have Asia's biggest slum called Dharavi. This area is 2.2 square kilometers and it has over a million people. Many women here are living in extreme poverty and in abusive relationships. Many of them were forced into sex trade. Naomi Zacharias did so much service to them. Her organization is gone. Michael was supposed to help her and her organization during those turbulent days. He did not do that. Nathan Zacharias also lost his job. He was not given any help or public support. So Michael Ramsden is smart enough to keep his job through this ordeal. He should apologize to Margie and help Naomi and Nathan continue their ministry. RZIM teams had been preaching the word of God around the world. I invited RZIM speakers to my college when I was in India. That evangelical ministry is the most important work we should be doing during these days. That has been stopped and RZIM became an organization that gives grants to abuse victims. So my answer to your question is Michael Ramsden did not uh, behave in a manner consistent with the scriptures. He also completely failed to manage Ravi's crisis. He also did not prove to be a true friend to Ravi's family. He threw all of them under the bus and just kept his job. Okay, folks, that's all for today. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments and like this video. Thank you. God bless you.